The United States government has undertaken a very important effort to develop a new strategy for addressing what are called the push factors in Central America, the things that are happening in that region that drive people to try to leave. And this is a, a very important, very complex undertaking. We think there are a couple of obvious tools that the United States has at its disposal to address these problems. The first one is promoting the use of digital technologies for access, especially to government services and financial services in that region. That's a, that's a way of uh, making government more transparent, making it easier to have bank accounts, less expensive to have bank accounts. It takes cash out of many transactions, and it just generally cleans up lots and lots of opportunities for petty corruption in those regions and begins to rebuild trust between the citizen and government and also reduce the cost of compliance with social and health regulations. It's a win-win-win, it's a and there's a lot that can be done there. One thing the United States could do would be to offer Central America a bilateral agreement on digital trade, which would foster the reforms, encourage the reforms. It would also lock them in, in, the, in a way that future governments in Central America couldn't change them as easily. And that would be a powerful signal of stability to, this, to the private sector. Another tool involves a trade policy, creating a linkage between the US, Mexico, Canada trade agreement and the Central America free trade agreement that would enable producers in North America to draw on inputs from Central America as they produce for sale in the United States and Canada. This, is, this would be a way of encouraging uh, supply chain investment that's currently in China and looking for a place to move out of China as the private sector tries to diversify its supply chain relationships and encourage that investment to move into Central America. Another very powerful signal that the United States could send of commitment to Central America and of, uh, of a desire to see Central America thrive and invest. Those two things would go a long way toward addressing the push factors.